I'm Greta and uh, I would like to have a short haircut and um, in a family line. In feminine line? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And with the color we see what's going on with your yeah. color because yeah, we, we don't see. know if at the shots what stays over and we always can correct that. Yeah, true. Will you turn for them to show how your hair is now? Okay, like this. <laughs> yeah. More slow. You get 12 points for that from the Netherlands. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello friends on YouTube. Gonna do her hair. Now she loves ultra short hair. And I know there are a lot of people on YouTube also loving short hair. I love it also. I love the <laughs> girls with short hair. They look strong. And they know what they want. So let them have that. <laughs> she chooses the yellow cape. Doesn't mean she gets yellow hair. She, no, no. You can see she lost pink color. Now I put on the protection, now I on the wet hair and then see what's going on, how the structure of the hair is and then go into the hairstyle. Wet the hair a bit, not too much. Just to see what the structure is. When you put the conditioner into the water, it stays on the hair because the hair wants a conditioner. Mm. Now what I do is, I watch at the hair, take an ultra large chisel, it's an eight of Kyoto. Lift the hair up. And cut my first lines. The wonderful thing of a large chisel is that you get a lot of hair in one cut. Watch at the natural fall of the hairs. And I love the sound of this scissor. Yeah, me too. It's really relaxing. Yeah, sexy sound. <laughs> Correct the top line. Now go to the sides. Turn a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Because I have to find me the rounding, I don't want a boy's hairstyle that goes straight up and then in the vertical line to the top. I want a round line into a natural shape. In the other lines I use the clipper. Coming at the rounding and the crown area, just travel certainly in a certain way and in a wonderful way her hair flows over the lines. Just let me guide me by the comb I use. This gives the lines that I want to cut. Now you see it's a wonderful rounding, turn it a bit back so you can see that. I have a wonderful rounding and a wonderful line of cutting. The upper hair I thin out afterwards a bit, so it lays more flat on the head. Go in, light the eyebrow line with my long scissor. And just gently travel up. You don't have to hurry because we're both free. Go to the other side, lift the hairs up, put them on the line of cutting and connect them to the
You see how wonderful it is to work with a large scissor. Again, going on the rounding, a 5 meter rounding. I need the rounding of the hair and the skull into my short hairstyle. But also finding the shortest slides, of course. Go into the chin line. Go step behind her, lift her ass up, set them straight, and find me a connection to both sides. Just watch through the ass. Coming to the back, coming at the crown, go into the rounding of the crown, so take my scissor into the crown rounding and just connect the hairs. Also making sure I have no flat back lines, so I leave a little bit length on the rounding, so I'm certain that I have a rounding, otherwise it's a flat back and I don't like that at all. This will make it also more manly and I love the feminine side of this short hairstyle. You see there's still rounding, so I have a wonderful line. Go in like the eyebrow line again. Now gently travel to the center line. What kind of colors that you already had? A lot, um, I think. Last time we, we tried the gray. Yeah. And then uh, I tried the blue. Yeah. And uh, become green after a bit. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> and then I tried the pink one. Okay. And I think my favorite is pink for now. Yeah, I think so too. It's a wonderful color. Yeah. And then we have to light it up a bit. It's not so hard to do because I have a special technique for it. But don't go to, to the skin with col uh, coloring. Okay. Just uh, take uh, some bleach on the uh, cloths and wave through your hair. So only the tops will have uh, some bleach. And the sides will be certainly a uh, bit darker of color. But I think that looks more beautiful than then when the whole hair is pink. You hear the discussion we have about the color. So I'll give you a technique what I like to do with short hair. Yeah. And then we give it a pink color. A new fresh one. On top I use slicing techniques. The wonderful thing of this large scissor of Kiona is that it are two hollow blades. So you can slice wonderful with it. This brings down the hairs. I lay them in the natural form. The hairdresser now, all those hairs are falling. <laughs> Thank you.
Come into the front. I leave this a little bit longer. I think it's beautiful on her. First set out the line and then travel to the back. So you're certain that I have a connection from the front to the back. Give the slide rounding by slicing. And slice the connection to the sides. Then lift them up again, pull them on the already cut hair and just connect them. So there's always a connection to the lines of cutting. Watch at the natural roundings. Now I can come to my clipper. Coming to the sides, taking my key on the clipper, put the blade on the sharpest position, lift my comb out on the line of cutting scissor of comb technique. And stay aware that it's a feminine hairstyle. So don't make the hard lines you make on a man. Only if the customer wants that, of course. That's not a problem. But I do also what my models love to have, because I love to have models that come by more and more and more. And I love especially models with short hair, because they are very hard to find. Put my blade to the back, leaning on the sides of the blade. The under part is that, on the skin part. I make a nice soft connection to the line I just made. Also the facial line, I soften. Hold my comb in the position like the chin is. Then I'm certain that I have the natural lines to work in. She has a very nice implant of hair, very stable. So it's very nice to make short hair starts on. Coming to the center. And mostly the hairs on the center travel straight down. In her case, it's not the case because her hair travels from this side to the center and then straight back, but she has also a turn in it. So I have to be aware of the way the hair flows are. Especially with short hair, you have to notice that. Because the hair flow brings the hairstyle. So you know where you have to guide yourself into new directions. But also to how to treat the hair to give the same effect on both sides. So stay watching what the hair does. And the nice thing of working with a comb is that you can guide your hairs into the clipper. When you use the clipper comb, this is totally hard hairstyle because then all the lengths are the same and don't grow back the nicest. This will certainly grow back very nice. But that you will see probably in a week or uh, six. <laughs> and it's getting summer in Holland, so. Watch at the natural falls, go into the opposite lines.
<laughs> Coming to the left side of her hair. And you see that then my comb is in the opposite lines because it is always the opposite of the lines that you're moving. So you don't say I started that way with uh, the, the chin line as a, a guideline and now I'm in the same line but now I take the upper part of the eyeball line. So this angle is the same angle as that angle because everybody is symmetrical in the, those lines. So those lines suit you always. Turn to me. Coming to the last part. Just the way about the ears. Travel to I find the line where I did my clipper overcome. This sound is also very nice because uh, the sound of the clipper is very important. I, I think this Kiyomi clipper gives me a special feeling of rest. Uh, I don't want to hurry up. You have, uh, for example, Panasonic clippers. They hurry up like hell because uh, my adrenaline goes high and I want to work very fast. And I'm, I always work fast, but I don't want to feel the, the feeling of hurrying up. That somebody will guide me into deadlines and that I get the feeling that I get uh, be punished when I don't work hard enough. So I like the, 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 the sound of this uh, clipper. Put my blade to the back again. Once over the contour line. Leaning on the skin. Hold my clipper in an angle and the one on the back is like uh, 2 o'clock. And in the front is 11 o'clock, it's also the opposite lines. So the line of my clipper is the line we are working in. And by working by the clock comes from uh, military, uh, especially for plane uh, fighters. They guide you on the clock. So now I can clean her skin up and then with a the small clipper I can control the contour line. With a thin comb. Small. I go over the lines of cutting, especially the contour lines, and just watch what the comb gives me because I can put hair straight up. And with just the blade of my clipper, I couldn't. So just perfect line. Clean the contour, of course. Now watching at her natural lines, I going to decide what kind of neckline she will get. Because I love to have a shape in that also. I'll show you what I mean by that. Now you see there's a slight wiggle, this, this goes higher than that side, so I give her a shape into the neckline. Using the first line as a guide, this one I shape up the same height as that one, go down, and so I get more balance into this short hairstyle.
Dat zijn ze nog niet. Niet hier. Nou, dit is ready. So now just watch with my thinning scissor a bit on the top what the volume is and then we can bleach it. For school also for, for short hair Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have it. Take also a very large thinning scissor, but a very fine one. And just deep down, I lay it on the skull. I thin it out a bit. This gives some more freedom in the hairstyle, but it's also very much easier to style with a bit gel, wax or whatever. And it brings some air into the hair. Soften the line of the front a bit. And now we can make her a bit bleach to light up the upper hair a bit. So the pink will be wonderful stunning again. Now with my cloths I put some bleach on her hair. This is uh, with 20 volume with a bit conditioner in it. Especially attention to the front because this has to be a bit jolly and good looking. And by just watching what you do, the bleach you can see of course, you can also only color the parts you want to color. Now ask her to turn and then I take a carton wig and cover it up. Take my carton wig, take some small parts of it, lay it around her hair and her skull of course. Take every time a new circle, lay it on the hair. This way I'm certain that the bleach don't go into the hair, stays on top. This is a close up, then we go for tea or coffee. And you may wait because in a second we're back. Then I'll apply the new pink color on my hair. Hello, we're back after uh, 20 minutes. We rinse it out and now I go with the Kuhne Passion Pink of her hair. This is a toner conditioner. Just fill it in. Smells wonderful. You need to wear gloves, otherwise you get dirty fingers. Just applying it on the bleached hair. Right. We'll make a photo of the, the gels of Keune into the video, so you can see which product it is. This I leave on for 50 minutes, then rinse it out, and then we're back to style the hair. Make sure you always comb it through the hairs, so you're certain that everywhere is the same color, and not parts that faded. So we'll be back. Okay, after 50, 50 minutes we rinse it out, so now I'm gonna dry the hair. You see a wonderful pink it is. In a smooth gel. This is because it makes the hair uh, easier to get into a small hairstyle. I just try it with my fingers. I could try a brush but it's very hard on the short hair.
feel so nice between my fingers. It's very nice short hairstyles feel so good. They always do. Using a jelly wax together with the oil. This brings out the color even more and applies a wonderful nursing effects to the hairs because she has strong hairs and makes the hair cells smaller. Now she can sleep tomorrow about 5-10 minutes more and she does have to do her hair. I thank you for watching. I thank her for being my model. Thank you. Till next time. <laughs> you may turn around. My love. Okay, you may. You look wonderful. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I'm Greta and uh, I would like to have a short haircut and um, in a family line. In a feminine line? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. And with the color we see what's going on with your yeah, color because yeah, we, we don't see. know if it shorts what stays over and we always can correct that. Yeah, true. Will you turn for them to show how your hair is now? <laughs> yeah. More slow. You get 12 points for that from the Netherlands. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.